Hi, my name is Tom Williams. I'd like to show you a radio project. The improvement is that we get rid of both the pilots and the cyclic prefixes. This is the transmit side. So what we have here is a transmitter uh, sending a radio signal from a software-defined radio, which is an Edis B200. Uh, and we're transmitting in the 900 megahertz ISM banner nearby there. Uh, into this rubber ducky antenna. And the control comes from this uh, uh, computer over a USB 3 cable. The single carriers are used historically a lot on the cable plant, but now we've switched uh, on DOCSIS 3.1 to OFDM. And the analogy is more one of a stream of water from like a hose versus a shower head. Uh, single carrier is like a single stream of water. A shower head is like many streams of water simultaneously, and that works well in an environment, but the OFDM transmissions historically have required something called a cyclic prefix. So now we're over at the receive side, and what we have is a transmitter in that direction, about seven meters away from the receiver. This is uh, a software-defined radio matching the one on the transmit side, but it's in receive mode. Signal lasts about 160 uh, microseconds and it consists of two Zadoff Chu sequences in between 15 OFDM. The Zadoff Chu's are used for three different things in this operation. The first thing we do is to cross correlate them and that produces this dancing pyramid that you see and any phase shift between this one and this one tells us what the frequency offset is. After we find the frequency offset and correct that, we do a Fourier transform on that to produce this spectral plot. So this is an eight megahertz wide response. This is actually the upper side band and over here is the lower side band. First Zadoff Chu, this one, is mined for frequency response data and the magnitude is black the uh, real part is blue and the imaginary part is red. Over here, you see one of the 15 OFDM blocks that has been uh, received and deghosted, and the equalization is applied uh, from this uh, characterization right here, and that produces a QPSK constellation. The 64 uh, symbol wide OFDM blocks are also plotted in the frequency domain along here. The black is the magnitude, and the I and the Q values are uh, red and blue, respectively. Over here, I'm going to turn on an interferer, which is just one megahertz above the center of the channel. And you can see it right here, and that is causing uh, quite a bit of interference. But you see most of the symbols are good, except for these ones right here, which are seeing interference, which explains why uh, OFDM and OFDMA are preferred transmissions met methods for wireless.